we are just waiting. Good morning guys! I'm finally in Kathmandu, Nepal. Well, I actually landed last night, but I was so tired that I just went straight to sleep. But this morning is a new day and I'm so excited to be here. Like honestly, just the vibes of hearing like motorbikes, taxis, beeping horns, barking dogs, all of that it just reminds you that you're not in England anymore and you're definitely somewhere new and for me like I'm so so excited as you can hear I think my mom is like coughing for her dear life and my voice is a little bit throaty um throaty croaky so there is a lot of things that we want to do but we do want to go like slow because we're not feeling the best but anyway, um, I'm staying at the Kathmandu guest house and it's such a cute, pretty boutique hotel, guys. Like, But for now, I'm going to freshen up, get some breakfast and I'll show you guys around. Some sausages. What is this? Mixed omelette. And some type of breakfast potatoes. Fruits toast and mom hi mom how are you feeling today much better much better bless her she's not feeling the best but look at this beautiful garden so day two of being in Kathmandu yesterday we were so knackered all we did was like rest in the hotel and me and my mom actually went and did our nails um, but today is gonna be a really busy day we're first going to see our house which is nearly being completed so we need to go in have a look my mom actually hasn't seen the house at all she's only seen it through pictures and video so I think she's a bit curious to see what it looks like in real life um, and then once we go there, we're going to start making a list of all the things that we need to buy, which is going to be quite a lot. So it's going to be everything from like curtains, bedding, furniture, kitchen stuff. So yeah, after that, then we're going to have to go and find them, which is going to be even more fun. Um, obviously, things are not as straightforward and easy as it is back in England. You can't just search everything up on the internet because not everybody will be you know, online or have an online website that you can browse through. So it's going to take a lot of phoning around, asking people that we know, like our friends and relatives who live here, um, and just basically going off by what they say, going to the showroom, having a look and seeing if we like anything there. So yeah, it's going to be a really interesting process, uh, but I'm going to show you guys around with me and take you around just to let you know what it's like if you do plan on moving back to Nepal, Kathmandu, um, or if you just like to look at like home decor, seeing how we finish things up, then you might like this one. And I would love to know what your opinions are on things that we choose and stuff, and even advice because trust me, right now we need that a lot. So I'll see you in the next bit. So I'm at my house at the moment and as you can see things are coming together slowly but there's still a lot of stuff to do. Um, we were hoping to be in here right now but obviously I don't think that's possible. Um, so yeah, we're just looking forward to making sure that everything gets done. So this is going to be our main uh, living area. So we have the kitchen over there, which is open plan. And then we have our living and dining area. We have 
one guest bedroom and then we have some more bedrooms upstairs but I'll probably show you guys around when the house is like properly finished um, but yeah this is what it looks like right now and me and my mom today are just going to get the measurements for our windows so we can get curtains and even look at some furniture suppliers um, so my mom has never seen this place before um, so mom what do you think so far? it's quite good are you happy with it? Uh, yeah? yeah? <laughs> so yeah she's not been here before so she's just having a proper look um, obviously it does look really really nice but I have to be real and honest with you it's not ever going to be the same standard as you get back from the UK. Right, Mom? Mm -hmm. For example, just like the finishing work, the lack of attention to detail is not that great. Um, and it's not going to be like the same quality that we get back in England. But to be honest, for a Nepali standard, this is really amazing and we're really proud with the work that's happened here so far especially for my mom and dad as this is going to be the Nepali house and maybe the retirement home as well and one thing that I love about our location is that we have all this amazing sunlight coming in so that's pretty amazing and also we don't have any like buildings that are too close to us which is very rare in not, uh, in Nepal, Kathmandu, because most houses are pretty much like joined together. So because of that, we have this great ventilation and we have this great sunlight. So I'm really, really happy about that. So after we made a list of all the things that we need, and I tell you, this was a pretty big list. We then left our house and made our way out. So we made a little quick stop in Bata, where I met my dear friend and our guide for today, Saina. So she is a local here, so she knows all the great places to go to when it comes to buying things that are of great quality, but most importantly, she knows how to get a bargain and how to get a really, really good deal. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I go to abroad or other places, I feel like I'm getting a really good discount because I'm converting everything in pounds, but then obviously I realize I really am not. Thank you so much, Saina, for showing us around today and also to Saina's mom who made us these amazing snacks including this traditionally Newari bread called bara which was so so tasty
so as you can see we have all these boxes in our living room at the moment and my mom is just filling some boxes and oh. my brother you do have money what? No, you can pack that, mom. That's fine. My brother is taking a rest mm. because he's so tired of doing nothing. But anyway, so my mom is packing all the boxes. And we are then weighing each box. Um, writing down the width, length, all the dimensions. And then I'm actually typing everything out. So what's included in the box uh, and everything just because we need it for the cargo company and also for ourselves in case anything goes missing because unfortunately you can't really trust the system I know that's really unfortunate but that's just the way it is so I'm writing everything down <laughs> so in case anything goes missing then we can claim it <laughs> bags So all of our cargo box have finally arrived. Some are, as you can see over there, it's like broken, but most of it is actually, okay, kind of in a good condition. So we have some more here. I believe we have about 27 packages altogether, including the suitcases. Um, so yeah, my uh, mom and dad had a little bit of difficulties in customs, but that was kind of expected. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun going through everything and unpacking, and I can't wait for that. So this is some of our boxes that we're trying to unpack. My mom is busy setting up everything and she's a bit sad because some stuff are actually broken as well but this is our first meal in this house so <laughs> this is my mom taking all the stuff don't worry guys i am helping her but she just has her own unique method she's she's hi